Mm. My only number three. I made the mistake for fucking five years. I couldn't just fucking devote myself to her because I had this other half of me that was just fucking tearing me apart. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to do. I tried so hard to keep her to stay. But my anger just overtook me. We broke up. I fucking came back to her at fucking 10.30 at night. And she has a fucking another guy already over here. Like. <laughs> she calls it just for fucking comfort. But I know what the fucking truth is. She cares for him. My only wish is that you accept him. <laughs> like you accepted me. The only thing, though, is if he talks a single fucking word of shit about me, I swear to God, I hope you fucking beat the shit out of this fuckhead. He has no right to talk about me. He doesn't know who I am. She knows who I am. And you know who I am. I always cared for you both. I thought of you guys as family. More than my own family and myself. I would have came to you guys for problems before I ever fucking went to them. I just hope that he doesn't fucking disrespect from me. Doesn't disrespect me. And that you can at least carry on my legacy. Not that there's much to fucking carry on. All I was was a fucking goddamn good cook. That was it. I haven't been anything else important to this fucking world. I haven't done anything that means fucking anything. All I can do is fucking cook a steak or a fucking burger. And mix together a fucking sauce. At this point, it's just fucking done. Like, there's no end to this. The only end I've found is the one that I'm at. I can't reroute my life. I gave up two years for a girl before her. I just gave up five like it was nothing. I treated it like it was a fucking play toy and that was my fucking fault. Now I'm fucking half a bottle of liquor in. I just want to give you this one last message. I have one cigarette left. And after that, I'm done. I've given up. There's no moving on from this. But I hope you understand the reason why this is going on. <laughs> I couldn't fucking ever admit who I really was. I admitted to Zoe and she accepted it in ways. But she didn't want to have anything to do with it. She wanted didn't want to have anything to do with who I actually was. Those were her own words. She told me herself that she doesn't want to have anything to do with what I wanted. I failed myself. I failed my family. <laughs> Above all, I failed Zoe. <laughs> She's the most important thing to me. <laughs> and I'm just done. I love you, number three. <laughs>